Hi, welcome back to Panda Reacts. I'm Sandra, and we're back with the Clone Wars. And last time we watched episodes 13 and 14 of season four, and I got quite a few comments um, because there were several things I said in the episode. Uh, here's some uh, things people said. So, Option Zero said John Favreau did indeed voice Pre Vizsla working on this episode is how he became friends with Filoni. Um, yeah, well, that's cool, because uh, I did I did recognize the voice. I'm pretty sure Pre Vizsla was, was on a, pr a previous episode, but um, I might be wrong on that. And But, I mean, the cool part is, it's like Favreau and Filoni um, doing The Mandalorian is, like, my favorite thing of all. And, uh, anyway... Uh, Pinky Love <laughs> told me that I'm way off and not even to speculate about the dark saber. But dude, seriously, uh, speculation is what I can do when I'm a person who is just watching episodes that I'm at right now. Like it's predictions, right? Or it's thinking about, um, the past and how it comes to play. Yeah, I'm not on because I haven't read every book and I haven't watched everything like the Rebels and everything like that. Um, but it's fun for me to think about how the Darksaber got in different places because that's what makes things fun is to be able to predict and think. Like, yeah, in in a, in a year or so, when I've watched everything, I could probably go, whoa, you know, I was way off that. Was, I was really stupid. But, like, it's, you know, you have the ability to tell me that I'm way off, but I don't know that because I haven't watched everything. So, you know, cut me some flippin' slack is all I have to say. Kevin Mordico, we saw Obi-Wan and Vizsla fight back in Season 2 when the Darksaber made its debut. Yes, you are correct. Um, there was an episode back in Season 2 with Duchess Satine. There was a series of episodes where we first saw um, Vizsla and, and the Darksaber. And I had kind of forgotten about that. It wasn't sure. Obi-Wan didn't know Plo was coming, the slaves were still being held hostage, and Kenobi and Rex were in no position to free them. Yes, but I think my point is, is that did Anakin get out that they were having issues? Because how did Plo, well, I guess after a while, if people don't come back, someone's going to come for you. But I just thought maybe one of them was able to communicate with Plo and let them know to come. Um, that was just my my side theory, but you know, whatever. Hey ho wrote, I miss Zero. <laughs> Zero is hilarious, I just have to say. Um, whoever does his voice watches a lot of South Park because Zero is identical to Eric Cartman. He's just he is Eric Cartman in slug form, which basically Eric Cartman is. He's a giant fat slug, so I love Zero too. Thank you for your comments on that. With that, let's see it, um, what happens with uh, today's two episodes. Season 4, episodes 15 and 16. Here we go. Marauder Evo, mastermind of a separatist block to kidnap Chancellor Palpatine, has been captured. We have seen this guy before because I remember his name was Evil. <laughs> Oh, okay. You gotta sense that. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, he's not dead. <laughs> Sorry, he can't be. What the heck? What is what is happening? He's not dead. Darth Vader killed him. Obi Wan's pretending to be dead because it's gonna lure these people out. You gonna transform your face? Oh jeez. Well, that can't be. That's not cool. You gotta change your bones and everything to fix your face. 
You know, this is not a good... Okay, this is not fun. How can you swallow something that big? Seriously, ugh. Oh yeah, Cad Bane. Woo woo! This collection of baddies. Okay, he's in it with Cad Bane. Okay, all right. What's going on here? Prison Riot. Oh, that's what Cad Bane wanted. Okay, all right, we got it. I wanted a riot as a distraction. I'd like to say my whole name. <laughs> yeah, but your cool old one was nice. That's it. That's the one. He needs a really cool Australian hat. It's a crocodile Dundee hat. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, that's not good, yo. You cannot deny your feelings, Anakin. They are what make you special. Oh, Palpatine. If you can stop this plot against me, I trust you. Oh, great. Thank you, Chancellor. You're so awful. Yeah, he won't because... No. I won't. Rallo Val is running out of time. <laughs> Does he ever say, like, I? <laughs> well, he talks about himself in the third person. You've got the huts on your tail, so you make me a partner in everything. Knowledge free on the hunter, especially in the I don't have time for games. Anakin. Stop choking people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he always wears a hat. That's why I felt a connection. Obi Wan is still alive. I I don't understand. I don't either. But we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Believe me. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna mess up the whole plan. All right, that was episodes 15 and 16, and they are um, they are part of a, at least a three-part episode because um, we're only we're still on a cliffhanger from the second one. Uh, so this one brought back um, Eval, who only talks about himself in the third person. Um, we've seen him before because I remember that his name was Eval because I thought it was hilarious. Um, and of course he, and of course Cad Bane, um, who I recognize right away. So basically the plot stands that there is a, there is basically a plot to get rid of Palpatine, which of course we know isn't real because he works with Dooku, but Dooku is apparently plotting to get Palpatine and this one guy <coughs> Pardeen who is a bounty hunter apparently killed Obi-Wan Kenobi but he didn't and there was this whole funeral because everyone had to believe Obi-Wan was dead and then they just changed Obi-Wan's face to match Hardeen's so he could so they could figure out who was in charge of the plan and what was going on and and how could they get to the the real le ring leader, which at this point is Dooku, but we know is Palpatine. So basically, Anakin's left out of the loop, which we know is going to be bad because, um, as easily predicted, Anakin would try to avenge Obi Wan's death. Um, at first, he just went and captured who he thought was Hardeen, but was Obi Wan. And then Obi-Wan ends up in prison and meets up with Eval and Cad Bane. They didn't know Cad Bane was going to be involved. Um, they staged this prison outbreak and um, Cad Bane takes them to this, they steal a ship and they go to this one of the hut planets, which is, you know, the huge because 
huts uh, and bounty hunters. That's all one thing. They, funny enough, this prison break was uh, orchestrated by, was it Cat Bane? Who paid Boba Fett, who was in there, to cause some problems. And that was their that was their diversion. So it was kind of fun to see uh, Boba Fett in there. And the big green guy who was his partner is also a bounty hunter featured in The Empire Strikes Back. When we first meet Boba Fett, um, he's in that group that Vader is talking to. So that was a very um, recognizable bounty hunter to me. They get to this outpost. They they take some... He gets his Cad Bane, gets his Crocodile Dundee hat, which he's very well known for wearing. Um, and they get another ship and they leave. But Cad Bane is feeling a little distrustful of Obi-Wan slash Hardeen. So he leaves him behind. But, Har but Obi-Wan tricks him by putting a tracker on his ship. Meanwhile, Palpatine manipulates Anakin into um, basically going after Hardeen for Obi-Wan's death because oh, Anakin is being left out of the Jedi plans and uh, Palpatine just says, well, it's because they don't trust you, which is sort of true in the fact that Anakin is incredibly emotionally driven and um, gets darker and darker. He force choked the bartender to get information as to where Hardeen went and then found them in the second in episode 16 Ahsoka and him find Hardeen and um Cad Bane and them basically are goes after them except for the fact that um Obi-Wan saves Anakin from Cad Bane but says don't follow me Anakin don't follow me and Anakin's like what the heck and then, of course, like puts him to Jedi sleep. And um, he wakes up and is basically said to Ahsoka, Obi-Wan is alive. Um, I'm going to get to the bottom of this because he now knows that Obi-Wan is Hardeen, but he can't figure out why. So now there's a third parter, of course, coming up. Um, what may Anakin will find out what's going on. But this just leads overall to the many reasons why Anakin goes to the dark side. Because you see Palpatine's constant um, reinforcement in, well, they don't trust you, and, you know, here's all the reasons why. and But you can do that. I trust you. You can do this for me. So um, basically grooming and manipulation on Palpatine's part. And then the mistake of the Jedi Order of leaving him out because the more that they they don't trust Anakin or they leave him out, the more he becomes distrustful of them and um, and Obi Wan and, and so on. So this is um, it's a better lead up to why Anakin turns in Revenge of the Sith because um, you can see the the progress of Palpatine's manipulation whereas the movies can't really show you all that because they show you big bits so here he is doing this but you get to see how he really is groomed and manipulated by Palpatine in this in this series so I really enjoyed these two episodes I'm a fan of Cad Bane um I like his character um Eval is hilarious just because he his name is Evil and he call, talks to himself in the third person all the time. I don't know why Obi Wan would he had to he had to get facially reconstructed. He had to swallow a spider voice sphere that would change his voice to Hardeen's. Where are they keeping Hardeen? Obviously not in prison because. He can't be in the same population, but he's obviously somewhere because they didn't kill him. How far can Obi-Wan take this? Uh, there's a lot of suspicion around him and the fact that, you know, he he's every once in a while he does a nice thing. And that's uh, very suspicious for two complete cold-blooded murderer dudes. Um, 
now that Anakin knows, what is he going to do about it? If he chases Hardeen, he's blowing Obi-Wan's cover. If he lets it go, who's he going to be mad at? This is not a good situation. So that's it for now. Until next time, thank you for watching. Leave a comment and bye for now.